This week, devout conservative Christians from all 50 states made a pilgrimage to the Quicken Loans Arena to see the man who they believe will lead them to so much winning. Jordan Klepper reports on this holy-ish union. Donald Trump has assembled a wide range of supporters at the RNC, and some of the most vocal, evangelicals. Yes, he's a casino owner who's had three different wives, but the conservative Christians know a devout man when they see one. Go Trump! He represents the godly people of the United States of America. You think he's always acted like a, a good Christian? Absolutely. Yeah. How can you build that kind of empire if you're not praying to God for good things every day? He is um, the man for this time in history, and God will use him. And I don't know that he's going to even be aware of how God is going to use him. You don't think he even knows what his relationship with God is? Absolutely, I think that. They seemed convinced, but I was still struggling to see how this man reflected the teachings of the good book. What do you think about the idea of loving thy neighbor? Uh, you don't want somebody living next door to you that's going to sneak over and murder you in your sleep. Who's going to do that? <laughs> Muslims. But then I saw a man who could convince even the most skeptical of the depth of Trump's faith. We are electing a man in Donald Trump who believes in the name of Jesus Christ. Pastor Mark Burns. Shout amen! That's the guy I needed to talk to. The man who gave the benediction on the opening night of the RNC. I believe Donald Trump without question, loves God. He believes in the one true God. He believes Jesus Christ is his Lord and Savior. He believes that uh, marriage is between one man and one woman. He believes that... Wait. <laughs> what? He believes marriage is between one man and one woman. Who does? Donald Trump believes one marriage is between one man and one woman. He also Until believes... Until a younger woman comes along? <laughs> no, 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 that's, that's not, no. Trump thinks marriage is between one man and one... Czech, one Slovenian, and one American, right? So your point is... This one man, one woman thing, I ran the numbers, they don't check out. <laughs> okay, so he stumbled a few times on his path towards righteousness, but surely he embodies the most basic Christian ideal of helping those in need. Jesus said, blessed are the poor, for they will inherit the kingdom of heaven. He did, right? he did. Donald Trump said, I've watched politicians bragging about how poor they are, how poor their parents and grandparents were, and I said to myself, if they can stay so poor for so many generations, how smart can they be? They're morons. Donald Trump is not the pastor of the United States of America. He's accepted Jesus Christ as his savior. Is he a seminarian student? Can he exegete the scriptures? I don't think so. You know who has run a Bible study? I'll Who's give you that? a hint. It rhymes with Hillary Clinton. <laughs> Hillary Clinton. Yes. Runs a Bible study. She did when she was first lady of Arkansas. Well, you know, I can't speak to Hillary Clinton's relationship with God. I know she's really good at pandering out to black churches, singing whatever Amazing Grace song she can come up with for that moment. Do you think Donald Trump knows the words to Amazing Grace? <laughs> well, again, as I said... I think it'd be more like Tremendous Grace. How fantastic the sound. Could save a pretty good guy like me. I once was lost, although you know what? I was never lost. I was born with an impeccable sense of direction. When it comes to Trump's views on the poor and marriage, Christians are willing to turn the other cheek, an attitude they extend to all God's children. Well, almost all. I think that when Hillary Clinton calls Donald Trump a person that does disrespects women for a woman herself to allow her husband to disrespect her, uh, I think that's hard. You're holding that to Hillary? What we sow is what we receive. So what's worse, Hillary allowing Bill to cheat or Donald Trump cheating? Well, I want to I want to be clear. Um, I, I, think I just spoke to him. I said Hillary Clinton has allowed anyone to do anything. Uh, Bill is his own man. But you're connecting his actions to Hillary. But because the, the, he is Hillary Clinton's husband. But you're not connecting Donald Trump's actions to Donald Trump. Um, I believe Donald Trump, just like any of us. When we fall, we fall to the sin. I see. Christians love to forgive, and Donald Trump allows them to practice forgiveness in truly biblical proportions. Amen. Congratulations. You've been randomly selected as a winner of free Daily Show episodes. Yes, you. 
To claim your prize, just watch full episodes of The Daily Show for free anytime with the Comedy Central app or at thedailyshow.com. What a winner you are. So much winning.